Welcome back to My Hero Academia Anime Review Episode number 53 This I'm reviewing the 298 chapter of the manga Sounds of Collapse Chapter starts off pretty much the flashback of seeing the League of Villains And we're just dealing with the after effects of what happened last arc And we also see that various We see various people see that Their aftermath look of basically what happened in the in the villain war arc. We see that after what happened in Tartarus, several other presidents are experiencing breakouts. Yep. So basically everybody's wondering what to do next. And all for one basically is wondering that too. And then two days later we cut to the hospital where Bakuda was woken up in the hospital. He tried to take some and nobody's around him. Well, mostly, it looked like at first, but nope, it's just Invisible Girl, Menta, and a couple others, basically. Everyone's like happy he's awake. Everyone's like, what, what about Deku, Todoroki, and Sensei, and our senpai, Endeavor? And we see that. Looks like Gran Torito, basically, is, well, him and, and Razorhead, basically, are banged up. Razorhead is not too bad. We see Todoroki where he's with Momo, Pinky, Red Riot, and Tail. Actually, it's not Tail. I don't remember this guy's name. Everyone's like wondering how he's doing. Everything okay? We see Endeavor basically struggling. We see various villains look like they were arrested. And of course, well, Shudo basically is one of what his father's up to. And he's dealing with the, what happened a few chapters back when. It was with a Dobby was actually his long lost brother. And we see oh wait, wait, oh hello. I think it's like oh you must be to Todoroki's big bro and sist. It's also a bird so he can't talk. Yep, and we see somewhere behind him. Who could it be? <laughs> they don't review the shot there, and of course Baco's wondering what the heck is going on. And then we see All Might, and the chapter ends All Might with Deku. Because he's not woken up yet. I'm like, wow, this is quite interesting. I'm like, okay. You know, what, you know what characters are missing from this chapter? And I'm wondering what their reaction to basically seeing Deku like this? Ochaku and Froppy. Yes. Especially since Ochaku is the one in love with Deku. I would love to see that, but nope, not really. This chapter felt really kind of quick. Yes, it felt like a really quick chapter. Because basically we just see everybody is up to still deal with the aftermath of the Paramount Liberation Army arc. Which went on for a long time. This arc went on for, for almost 50 freaking chapters. And basically this chapter is definitely good. It does reveal that everybody is simply like no way. No one should here die. I Grant Cerritos basically. He's unconscious. A razor head looks like he's fine. Looks like he can check out the hospital anytime. The his eye is damaged. It's surprising though he's the most least injured out of everybody. The most injured is Deku, which is not surprising. And hopefully that his his quark doesn't have him retire because what happened with his arms and legs. Yeah, but you have a choice, man. He was taking on basically so he was taking on Tutter, he was taking on so so And it's nice to see All Might there. That's that, that is great the fact that the Raider put him there. Like Kylie Retro Chaco is there as well. To basically be other side of the bed, along with Along with Deku's mom. I kind of wish those two were there. But we'll find out basically more next chapter. Which is going to come out next week. Yep, and can you believe it? Only two more chapters until chapter 300. Which I'm looking forward to reviewing that. Which, it might be the start of the next one. Because mostly it's like, this chapter and the last chapter just deals with the aftermath. Despite being still considered part of the same arc, it's the aftermath chapters. Yeah, but who knows what the series go from here. I give this chapter a 9 out of 10. It's a really good chapter. Oh, and don't worry, there's still one more manga chapter for you, 10. It's a new chapter for Barto. Which, from what I heard, this definitely is the conclusion to this arc. Finally, it took two freaking years to, to, to basically conclude this arc, and now it's finally done. I'll discuss that in a bit. When I discuss the news episode of Barto. I'm going to go watch the next and do that review, and i put all three of these videos up. Okay? See you in the next video.
Bye.